Well, if, if adults are listening to this, I highly recommend Memory Superpowers because it'll change your mind about uh, about uh, the alphabet. It's super super amazing, and it's it's it has been for thousands of years. I mean, the the, the gematria, which is the linking of alphabet with numbers, is is how Hebrew is constructed, for example, um, really? etc. So yeah, if huh. if people are interested, look up the gematria. It's it's ancient. This this sort of idea of uh, the alphabet as a mnemonic system with images, like every alpha, alpha, every Hebrew letter is linked to some kind of animal or something, um, wow. and an, and a number at the same time. So it's a. Uh, and you are you are the like you know everything about the history of techniques. I I feel partially somewhat embarrassed that I don't know more about the history of the stuff that I teach. But well, as you know, um, it's not necessary and. I think you're being very kind, and I think the, the the pleasure is is that I don't know everything, and it just it astonishes me how every day there's some new angle to follow, because <laughs> it is that ancient and that that rich in the history, and there are yeah. new books well, we, being discovered all the time from the past. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, one thing that opened my eyes was was uh, I'm sure you've read it, uh, Lynn Kelly's um, books about these techniques historically, like. I always go to that story about Simonides, the Greeks, but that's not it. That's not the only example. Right. Um, and it was fascinating to read. Like it opened my eyes. I literally had never heard of any of these other civilizations using these techniques like she described. It's right. incredible. 